Have you ever noticed the symbol on uh, medical clothes or on uh, ambulances or in hospitals of a snake wrapped around a pole? It's known as the Rod of Escalpius. In, in Greek mythology, it was a god that represented healing. In Mesopotamian culture, they believed that snakes uh, were a, a form of m medicine and for different healing powers, and that developed into different pagan religions. And uh, what this idea represents is that for thousands of years, people have looked to this symbol for a means of salvation, for a means of hope for healing. And, uh, but the actually the first passage that talks about this that we have uh, recorded actually comes from Hebrew scriptures. And it's in Numbers chapter 21. You might have heard the story before. It's about Moses and the people of Israel uh, had come out of Egypt and from slavery. And they were wandering in the desert. And they had wandered for a long time. And they begin to complain. And they begin to say things like, oh man, I wish we were in Egypt where it was so much easier. And they begin to think that they're going to die. And not only that, they believe that God had abandoned them. And, and they themselves had turned from God. And so the consequent, consequence of that was that God sent these snakes that bit the people and they became ill. So ill that they called out to Moses to cry out to God for help. And Moses does that. And God graciously offers uh, a way to save them. He tells Moses to make a bronze serpent and to put it on a rod and to lift it up in the desert. And that whoever is ill and looks upon the snake will live. And that is what they did. And they, they lived. And uh, in our modern day context, that story seems so bizarre. It seems that God is cruel or that um, a really harsh consequence for just merely complaining. Uh, why would God send the snake in the first place? Well, if you were to kind of look at the larger context, you would realize that God doesn't just look at the outer action actions of people. He looks at the heart attitudes and he um, looks at his people Israel and they're complaining and he sees that as an uh, outward symptom of an inner problem. And so in sending this sickness upon them, he's revealing to them that there's a deeper significant inner sickness that they have. And that is the rejection of him. And the truth is that we have that same inner sickness. Uh, when we turn from God, when we reject him, we are spiritually sick. And in the Old Testament, turning away from God for the Jewish people had dire consequences. Uh, but it's not a result of God's cruelty. It's a deserving result of people's sin in their faithlessness. But God, as he always does in scripture, gives them a way to salvation. He gives them this bronze symbol of um, the serpent. And it seems like a strange Im image, but it might be helpful to explain it in different terms. So if you were to have a community that has the snake that comes in and starts biting people, that village might send out a hunter. And the hunter would kill the snake and he would put it on a pole and would lift it up to show everyone that the snake has been defeated. There is no reason to fear. And when the people looked at the snake, they would know uh, there's security here. There's hope. Uh, I don't have to be afraid anymore. And that is what God is doing here. God um, in the lifted snake is showing that he's completely sovereign, that he has defeated the snake, that he's defeated even the sickness, that he is sovereign, that he is in control. But just like the sickness represented more than just something physical, this uh, serpent is the same. It pointed towards something in the future. And Jesus actually talks about this in his conversation with Nicodemus in John chapter 3. He looks at Nicodemus, who would know the story very well because he's Jewish, and he says, Just as the serpent was lifted in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And he continues to share the greatest hope in John 3, 16, in the most famous passage, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever should believe in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus gave a fuller image of what that serpent represented, that healing came from him, uh, that his death on the cross, that uh, offered hope. And when we look to the cross, uh, we gain um, healing. And so the snake on the pole pointed toward Jesus Christ on the cross, the spiritual remedy for a spiritual sickness. 
This uh, sickness was a physical picture of a spiritual reality of the human heart, and the lifted snake was a physical picture of the spiritual remedy, remedy that is Jesus Christ. And the same message is true for us today. We are more than ever in need of a spiritual remedy, but he has come and he has defeated sickness. He has defeated death. And he calls for all of us to look upon him in faith that we might be saved, that we might have hope. In this pandemic, there is so much uncertainty and confusion, and there is a necessary search for a medical answer. Uh, but even in this time of sickness and uncertainty, we can't forget that there is still a spiritual need for us to look to for hope. And um, Jesus has accomplished those things. And so in this time, I want to just encourage you uh, to look to the cross for hope, to look to Jesus who um, has defeated those things for us, that he is sovereign and that he is in control.